In this tutorial, we are going to create a xylophone like one we have over here, where we have eight different buttons of different colors. And when we press any one of that, a different note will be played. So the notes were a little difficult to hear, but they work fine. This tutorial is basically a walkthrough from the App Inventor book by Dave Bolber, the chapter 9, which creates the Xylophone app. And it's a really good book, and the chapter has a lot more detail, so I definitely recommend you guys reading it. And in the description below, I'll have a link to the files that I'm using from the book's website. So let's get started and create this app. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go and create a new project. I'm going to call it Roy x phone so in this basic default screen the first thing that I'm going to do is add all the sounds that I'm going to use all the different sound files as you saw in the previous case when we, when I showed you the xylophone we had eight keys so we'll definitely need all the eight sounds so I'm going to go to this media part and add all the eight sounds that I've already downloaded. Now notice I have the sounds as named as one, number one through number eight, and they are actually .wav files. So I'll, I'll keep those names like that because we're gonna use the names later on in our blocks editor while we are creating this program. So I'm going to import all those sounds And as I mentioned before, I'm going to put a link to all the sounds in the description of this video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to create two of the eight buttons and the other ones are going to be exactly the same. So I'll let you guys create the last six buttons. So as you see, I imported all the eight sounds and the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drag a button from this basic palette to my viewer so all those eight key, eight keys that you saw before they are basically a button now I'm going to change the text of this button to C I'm going to change the width so that it spans the entire width of my screen I'm going to change the height to 40 pixels. So all my keys will be 40 pixels high and I'm going to change the color to magenta. So that's one key. Let's go and add another key. We'll pretty much do the same thing like we did a minute back. Now, as we know, we'll have to play a sound each time one of these buttons is touched. Now, we obviously will need a sound component for that, but I'm going to use only one sound. You might be thinking that since we have eight files that we might need to play, we might need eight sound components from here. So we are not going to use eight sound components. What we are going to do is we're going to use just one sound component and we're going to assign these different eight files to each of to the sound component whenever we want to play it. Now I'm going to rename this as just sound because it's easier to understand that way. But I'm not going to rename the buttons. I'm going to keep the buttons that way. So 
this is how you create the layout nothing else is needed so when you are adding the other six keys you just do what I did for these two keys and then we will go over to the blocks editor and see how to program each of these six keys